A cut flower garden or a cutting garden is a great way to bring the beauty of your flowers into your home. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about 10 flowers that you can direct sow right now for a cutting garden. If you wanna hear about them, keep watching this video. garden friends it's Chris from gardening at the Simon Getty North welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video I want to talk about 10 flowers you can direct sow right now to have a cutting garden I'm in Michigan zone 5b and I'm a hobby gardener and I'd like to um, show my ideas for gardening and also get inspiration from other gardeners so why don't we get right into the top 10. This is not an exhaustive list, but these are the top 10 that I felt um, were easy to grow and to be able to direct sow now. The first one is bachelor's buttons. Bachelor buttons are full sun. They take 65 to 75 days to bloom. They reseed themselves and the colors are a variety of deep maroon, sky blue, pink, and white. They're edible blooms on two to three feet stem, except for the dwarf. Uh, ruffled one inch flowers adds a nice texture to any bouquet. The next one is the Calendula Pot Marigold. The Calendula Pot Marigold is full sun, 75 to 90 days to bloom. They also receive themselves multitudes of orange and yellow two to three inch flowers on a eight to 24 inch prolific plant with fragrant stems and leaves. Plants bloom for a long time, even after frost. The calendula flowers are edible. The petals are edible, are used in natural dyes and have medicinal qualities as well. The next one is Cosmos. There's a variety of all different kinds of Cosmos colors and all, all of that. So they also require full sun, 75 to 90 days to bloom. They'll also reseed themselves. And the colors range from orange, fuchsia, pink and white. Bloom sway above gracefully. They're, they get tall, three to six feet stems. Cosmos leaves are wispy, light, and beautiful bouquet fillers. The next one is Larkspur. Larkspur is full sun, 80 to 90 days to bloom. They also reseed. Spires of flowers in peach, cream, blue, and shades of pink, three to five foot stems. Spires are massed with blooms, bringing structure and height to arrangements and garden beds. The next one on the list is Love in a Mist. Love in a Mist is full sun, 60 to 85 days to bloom, also reseeds themselves. Green whorls surrounded by petals in shades of blue to white and occasionally pink form interesting, beautiful flowers that seem to float above a mist of airy, lacy foliage. Succession planting is recommended for continual blooms. Number six is Love Lies Bleeding Amaranth. The Love Lies Bleeding Amaranth requires full sun, 65 to 75 days to bloom, long ropes of pink to crimson flowers on sturdy red stems cascade down a vase for a dramatic effort providing an awesome contrast to other flower shapes. Number seven, Marigolds. Marigolds need full sun, 60 to 90 days to bloom. They may receive themselves. They have sunny orange, yellow, and burgundy, and bicolor flowers. Taller varieties take a little longer to bloom than the shorter types, but worth the wait for the blossoms on long stems. I don't think I've seen a marigold with blossoms on long stems. They always seem to be the dwarf ones. Number eight, 
is Orlea. I'm featuring the Orlea White Lace. I've grown this one before. Orlea White Lace requires full sun, two-part shade, 65 to 75 days to bloom. They also reseed themselves. This is a white flower that's three to five inches, floats above lacy leaves on 24 inch stems. Orlea has a more intricate design than Queen Anne's Lace. It's not a bit invasive and succession planting is recommended. Number nine is the sunflower. And I'm going to feature the vanilla ice. I have that actually growing out in my sunflower garden this year. The sunflower vanilla ice requires full sun, 65 to 85 days to bloom. The massive flowers like the mammoth or Titan take approximately 100 days and they may reseed themselves. They come in yellow, near white, orange, and rich maroon flowers on stems two to 10 feet tall, and some can even get 12 feet tall. Plants may be either branching with many flowers or single stem with only one large flower. Succession planting is also recommended. Number 10 is the Xenia, which has a lot of different varieties and colors and shapes and textures. The Xenia is full sun, 75 to 90 days to bloom, variety of colors except blue. Sturdy, multicolored, single and pom-pom flowers, two to three feet tall stems. Pinching is encouraged after it has three sets of leaves to encourage branching. The more you cut the flowers, the more they bloom. I purchased all of these seeds from Botanical Interests. I actually like a lot of the um, seeds from Botanical Interest. I do have a link in the description box below. I have an affiliate link with Botanical Interest. I just love their seed packets and all their products that they have. So if you'd like to get some seeds from there, um, just hit that link below and uh, get your seeds through there. Have you grown any of these flowers before? Are you looking to start a cut garden yet? I know it's in the middle of August, but my frost date is probably around the end of September, beginning of October. But a lot of you, your frost date extends farther than mine. So you guys have more a range of flowers that you can start right now to be able to go into the fall before you hit your uh, first frost date for the winter. If you are a beginner gardener, these are excellent first time seeds to start as a novice gardener. And if this video has helped you, please smash that like button and share this video with anyone who is looking to start a cut flower garden from seed. Live, love, laugh, and garden. Hope to see you at the next video. God bless.